having problems with the ultimate amount of suck that you're having with this game, have no fear. After these messages, you're going to go from scrub to pro. Today's video has been brought to you by the generous patrons of the games who make continued content on the games possible. The games patrons enjoy monthly giveaways like Steam gift cards, Star Citizen packages, and any game that you want giveaways. Please consider donating just $1 if in any way you enjoy the game's content. Thank you. Down below in the description, 500 plus videos I watched in the past month. Only the best videos that actually helped me improve my game on Apex Legends are down below in the description. I will continue to update them every single month, making this the everything Apex Legends guy. Now, first things first, everybody knows aim is really important. So if you guys want to know how to aim properly, there's a lot of good content down below you can click. These are the best aiming videos, tutorials out there right now, but I'm going to tell you what's more important than aim. It's moving. Movement. Always be moving. It's something that a lot of even professionals uh, forget to do. You have to always be moving to win this game. In most FPSs, honestly, the second you sit still, the second you're a target, the second you're going to get hit, you have to learn how to always be moving and to aim consistently while moving. Second tip make sure of your engagements and that has to do with your positioning you know like you, you oh i see a lot of people just run in like a berserker mode and that's fine if you're a professional and, you, and you're very very aware of your surroundings but if you're just like starting out and you're trying to figure out the game or even even a veteran veterans get to the point where they're at because they understand where they are at on the map in in comparison to other enemies on the field so always kind of get yourself around the perimeter so that you're going from the outside in if you're in the center of the of the engagements that are happening around you nine out of ten you're gonna die unless you're with really good friends that know what the fuck they're doing if you know where you're at in regards to enemy units and you see two teams fighting one another get in there on that fight try and get them from a distance try and scope them out try and get long-term range uh, weapon or, or mid-term range weapon and then go at it and then and and watch it because you're going to get more kills that way they're busy with each other and you're just some guy on the outside that's distance and you're going to get those extra kills use grenades to flush out enemies a lot of times people will use cover they'll hide behind something throw something at them to flush them out and then just watch them run and gun at them it's a great strategy i prefer arc stars don't ads with a shotgun you literally are wasting time sighting with the shotgun learn how to use the shotgun without uh focusing down your sights and you're gonna be like wow why in the hell haven't i done this before this one's more for the noobs know who you're fighting know what their abilities are know exactly what they're capable of doing but more importantly understand basically how much hit points they have on them currently when you hit them when you're hitting them with a particular weapon, know the damage that it does, know on a, a headshot what the damage does with that particular weapon, and how many hit points they actually have to buff them out so that you know what it's going to take to drop your enemy. This is something that you're going to have to do. It's going to take time, but there's great links down in the description below that will help you with these things. And color is a good indicator of targeting, of how you want to go about target selection, which enemies, especially if you're in the thick of it, who you want to focus on first. Sometimes if you're a three on one and you see somebody with white versus purple, you're going to hit the white first because you want them down fast. You want all the fire that's on you off of you. And the only way to do it is to know which is your weakest enemy. This is something that's up for debate, but personally, I don't bother too much when the enemy is down. I go after as many of the squad mates that I can find so that when I get the last one, they all just instantaneously go down anyway. So don't really focus on characters that are already shot and down. They're not a threat anymore. Focus on threats around you ASAP, get the squad down, and then they all go down. If you don't have friends, make friends. If you do have friends, focus fire. Start focusing fire and notice a dramatic effect. Like you, you'll definitely win more games if you're working as a team. Find friends. If you don't have the friends, find a way to send out those friend requests. Get familiar with people. Just do it because it's going to improve your game. If you're playing with people that you can communicate with on the daily and you start to form this bond you understand kind of each other's movements which characters you're good with then what you're going to find is you're going to become more effective this is a no-brainer but i just have to say it because a lot of people don't do it and they just continually play with random people and it's very bad for your overall win rate 
This is one that gets overlooked tons. A lot of people are going to direct you to the weapons that do the most hit point damage. And while I think that is a smart move, even if you're not good with them, to practice and focus on those weapons and practice till, till you get good with them, I will tell beginning players this. Find out what kind of play style that you like the best, that, you, that you're most effective with with killing. It could be sniping, it could be mid-range, it could be up close and personal. Find that. And then try and figure out what your primary and secondary weapons are going to be. For example, for the longest time, I used the triple take. Uh, very, very small drop off, but not the greatest hit point damage unless you had a choke on it. And even if you have a choke on the triple take, it's not putting the kind of damage that a longbow can do. So for the longest time, I would take the triple take because I like to snipe and then a peacekeeper because I thought, oh, wow, mega damage with the shotgun. That's what I want to do. What I ended up finding out was that I got very effective at hitting things, but I wasn't just I wasn't dropping them like I wanted to so then I learned how to use the longbow and it took me a long time but I became more effective of a killer after I spent hours and hours playing with the longbow and I switched out the peacekeeper to Eva 8 because it had higher uh, round uh, firing and I did more damage with that than the peacekeeper actually so it's not always about uh, the type of damage that you're outputting on the weapon it also has to do with what you're comfortable with in your play style so find the weapons that you think are the best now down in the description below there's a chart that shows exactly the kind of hit point damages depending upon where you're hitting whether the headshots or body shots and this is kind of like you're going to have to play with it a little bit and find which weapon is best for your play style but once you do and you get in that rhythm and you get in that groove you're going to find that your game is going to increase significantly so want an underrated topic that will keep you alive a lot look at looting and inventory management man i'm telling you what moving around your uh, kill box figuring out a way to continue to be moving like i said before is very important and this is something that even veterans overlook where they just stand at the box they pull out what they need very quickly but they're not moving around this is something i'm still learning but it's very very uh underrepresented undervalued and it's something that you guys need to to be aware of that that will definitely up your game as if you're always constantly moving and you're forcing yourself to be more active this is something that will help you uh, live longer than you're normally accustomed to with your gameplay. Find a character that fits your play style. People do not do this. Are you more defensive character? Maybe you'll be more comfortable with the caustic trapping doors. Maybe you're more comfortable swinging around and being more mobile than you obviously you'd want to do like a pathfinder or or or, uh, or an octane. Maybe you, you kind of like going around the, the area not being noticed a lot. You, you like stealth, maybe you want to play with Wraith. You want easy targeting, go with Bloodhound. You know, like find out the character that you are best with because your play style, again, comes into focus when picking a character that matches it up. If you match your character, then the, the way that you like to play a game and you find the character, you're gonna be more comfortable and you're gonna get more kills. Simple as that. Use your ultimates correctly. Also your abilities, know your character. This goes back to knowing the character, knowing who you're playing, getting accustomed to their abilities, getting uh, an understanding of how best to use their ultimates. Great link down in the description below that'll save you guys tons of time and I highly recommend it. Know where you're at on the map. Know where the loot is in terms of uh, the, the level of gear that you're going to be getting in certain areas, but also know like every rock, every tree, every barrier, every building. The more you're playing the game, the more you're custom, you're going to realize that you're going to want to be on higher ground nine out of 10. And if you're on the higher ground, you're, you have the advantage. That's just, a, that's a Sun Tzu art of war right there. But what you want to do is you, you do really want to get familiar with your surroundings and where you're at so that if you get rushed by by a whole bunch of uh, squads or, you, you know, you're in a particular portion of the map, you know where you're at. And that has to go back to positioning because positioning is very important in winning the game. So there we are, everybody. Everything you need to know about Apex Legends. If you need more detail, you need more specifics. That's why I watched 500 plus videos over the past two months and selected what I thought was the best material, the best content that helped me improve my game everything down there below if you guys have other guys that you want me to check out go ahead put them down in the comments i'll scope them out and if they really make the grade and they help me out with my game i will continue to update this description every month or so as long as we get the attention that this tutorial deserves 
I put a lot of time and a lot of research into this. I really hope it helps you guys. I really hope it benefits your play. I know that just doing this for myself, my play has improved a thousand percent. I've become a much better Apex Legends player, and I hope it makes you a better Apex Legends player. If you like this tutorial, please go check out my Patreon page. Help support the channel. Building this community is one of the best things I've ever been involved in, and thank you so much. See you on the next vid.